All right, everybody, you want to make your way inside? We're going to start soon. Actually, in 45 seconds. So as you come in, might as well uh, make yourself into teams. We're going to go teams of... There's probably uh, 30 seconds left or 20 seconds or... 15 seconds. You're going to get a te three teams, okay? You're going to make three teams. We have one team over here. We got one team over here. And we got one team coming in. That's great. So uh, if someone wants to come up and uh, grab one of these from your teams, you're going to get one of these things. And a leader's got to go on each one. We each team needs a leader. Why'd you do that? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, I need that other one. Here you go. So guys, welcome, welcome to Emmaus. We are back. We are we are stronger than ever. Um, thank you for braving the weather to join us here. And if there is anyone online, we thank you for joining us as well. We're having a little some technical difficulties with uh, our computer aspect, so it might affect the gaming component. But stay tuned because you can still see us live and just be a part of this experience. It should be so. working now. It should be working now, so it should be good. But. Uh, here at Emmaus, we're all about being on a journey together towards knowing Christ, and uh, we're going to play some games. We're going to do uh, a lesson. We're going to have a video, uh, just a, a short video, a uh, Bible project on the book of Acts, and then we're going to break into our small groups and do some discussion on that. So uh, the first game we're going to uh, do is called Blank Space. Okay, it's very uh, much after the Taylor Swift song, I'm sure, but there's going to be a blank space. And you're going to have to fill that in. And what, the, what you want to fill that in with is going to be the best answer, the most popular answer that you could come up with, okay? So I'm not, you know, as it says up here, we ask people to fill in the blank space, and you want to guess the top answer. A little bit of family feud action going on here, okay? So the top answer, you want to, you want to answer the top. Not like I would say something different, you might say something different, but what is the top answer going to be? Does that make sense? So you're going to write down on your cards and raise them up. I'm going to keep score. We have team one, team two, team three, and I'm going to keep score for you guys. Uh, Tyler, any additional instructions? If you're online, you can also type in the chat what yep. you think the answer is. Yeah, you can guess uh, online as well. So uh, All right. you, guys, you guys ready to go? First one's pretty easy, in my opinion, but I eat blank with a hamburger. I eat blank with a hamburger. Three, two, one. Okay, you got to write something down. Write something down. We got, we got one here. I need one from over here. Show your answers. To the front. Okay, Show the front. Luke. Okay, we got, everyone says fries. Fruits, everyone fruits, says fruits, fries. Fruits. I'm not and seeing anything is... online yet. So the answer is french fries french actually fries. so Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> just kidding no that's fries no fries is the answer fries, fries is the answer that's uh, points all give, around we're gonna give no points because you guys all got it right so that's the test round <laughs> all right next one i didn't respond to a text because i didn't respond to a text because like, what what would be the top answer is the top answer does it have to be a single word, as you saw with French fries? We don't get, like, the top five. We just get... No, like, you just have to guess. This is a lot more difficult. Feud. This family feud styles. Three, two, one. Show new your phone. answers. New phone, who dis? I was busy. I forgot. I was driving. The answer... One of you got it correct. One of those... One of those is correct. The answer is, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. So that was this team here, team two? Christy never answers my texts. She always forgets. Forgot. Next yeah. one. New phone who dis is my answer. My favorite character on Friends is... I'll give you this. It's one of the, it's one of the main six, so it's not some weird like answer. Paul Rudd or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's Gunther. Tom Selleck. <laughs> he's, on favorite, he's on he there. He is. He's on there for a while, actually. Yeah. Tom Selleck. My favorite character on Friends is three. Don't say Kramer two, or something stupid. One. Show your answers. Joey. Chandler Bing. I can't see what it says underneath. Okay. Oh, yeah. Chandler. Here we got. The correct answer is Rachel. Ah. I wouldn't say it's the correct answer. It's actually the, it's an awful answer, but it's it is mistake. the answer that people said. Least favorite. No, least favorite it's Ross. Um, <laughs> next one. I love Ross. You can buy blank for less than a dollar. You can buy blank for less than a dollar. We're going to keep it, keep it clean, right? This is no like. Yeah, I got this off DYM. <laughs> Also, this is a strange answer. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so what is the most common answer that someone would fill in the blank for? So you I'm gonna, go, here's people. your hint. This is a weird answer. <laughs> it's weird. It's like whatever you think is the normal thing. I, I would never think of this for less than a dollar. That's your like, like, whatever you think might be right is probably wrong. <laughs> Three, two. One, show your answers. Okay, we, uh, what does that say? Gum? gum? Gum, candy, candy. Fruit. You, fruit. you can buy fruit for less than a dollar, apparently. That's not technically, it, it's technically true, but it's not often. No, fruit's usually like not I spent cheap. spent $6 on raspberries today. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could buy a okay, single piece of fruit for less a than a dollar. Lime for less than a dollar. I will Next give you one. That. After I take a selfie, I blank. After I take a selfie, I blank. Specific. Be specific. I don't know. I don't, I don't do anything after I take a... That's what I, I already did something. I, and Luke takes so many selfies. I do take a lot of selfies. Like, but. probably a third of our day in the office is Luke just taking selfies. I think that, like, I take a selfie and I take another selfie. Right? Yeah. It's two he has to selfie. borrow my phone so we can selfie himself taking a selfie. Yeah. Three, two, one. What is your answer? Take another one. Take another one. Yeah, that's, that was my answer. Edit it. Post it. The answer is... Your, your legibility is... Add it to my story. Which Ooh. is... I'm going to give a half point po for... Posting it. Next one. The most famous wizard is blank. Annie. This is so wizard, Annie. Right? <laughs> the most famous wizard is blank. Co the Cookie Crisp wizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reference I don't even get. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Beal. Three, uh, that's two, one. One. But I don't Show know your that's answers. True, though. I just don't think that's Show true. your answers. Who's the most famous wizard? We got Merlin. We got uh, a reasonable answer, Harry Potter, and Harry Potter as well. The answer is Harry Potter. Yeah, the obviously. answer is Harry Potter. I would argue there's a lot of wizards that are like, like Merlin is a better answer. <laughs> Gandalf, Dumbledore. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> Next question. Oz. Blank is a color in the rainbow. Blank is a color in the rainbow. What is the most answered answer? Three, two, one. Reveal. We got red, red, red. Three reds. No, red. Red's the red. answer. Next one. I always keep my blank plugged in. Mm. I always keep my blank plugged in. CPAP. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I want a battery-powered CPAP machine. That's for sure. You only messed that up once. Um, three, two, one. Reveal your answers. We have cell phone, phone, phone. You guys, right now, all of you don't have your cell phones plugged in. Yeah, I don't get that the one. The answer is TV. <laughs> Currently, none of our phones are plugged in. It, yeah, you actually do save electricity if you unplug your TV in most cases. 
Sure, that's not what the question was. The first thing I do in the morning is... The first thing I do in the morning is open (laughs) my eyes. Unplug my TV. (laughs) Plug it back in after a night of being unplugged. I I do do (laughs) unplug my TV at night. Why? There's there's a little red light. It's a smart TV, and it's always on. And cover the light with a piece of tape. They're watching you at night. You don't want someone watching you. Cover the light with a piece of tape. Then you can't use the remote, Tyler. Oh, my God. Stop using a TV. What comes in? Three, two, one, okay, show got, your answers. Number three, check my phone, go to the bathroom, uh, or tinkle. I, I honestly, this team, I don't, I cannot read their writing. Get dressed. Get dressed. The first thing you do is get dressed. The first thing I do is open my eyes, but the correct answer is check my phone. Check my phone. So that's just you guys? What did you guys, you know, not They you said guys? tinkle. No, these guys. Three. Yeah. Next one. Blank is a country that begins with the letter A. Blank is a country <laughs> that begins with the letter A. Unfortunately, I, know, I think I know the answer, but it's not a country, so. Blank is a country that begins with the letter A. Three, two, one, show your answer. Australia, Australia, Austria, really. That's Australia most, is the right. answer. I actually think that people would just say Africa, even though it's not yeah, a country. Africa. I, I think that is actually... <laughs> it's always an answer. Yeah, yeah. So you guys said Australia, Australia? At the North Pole, you find blank. You guys said Austria, which is in Australia. At, At the, the North, North Pole, Pole you, find you find blank. Elves. Right? Three, two, one. Show your answer. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Everyone gets a point. Next question. Blank is cold. Blank is cold. Tyler's heart is cold. Tyler's heart? <laughs> is cold. Um, also, my bedroom. For some reason, my bedroom is freezing cold. Three. Two, one, show your answers. Show your answers. Winter is cold. Winter is cold. Ice is cold. I think it's winter is on its way. Uh, ice? Ice is the answer. Ice. Ice is cold. Ice is cold. I heard that from over there, and they didn't go with it. I like to blank on a summer day. I like to blank Please, that on does. a summer day. Doing whatever snow does in summer. Three, two, one. Show your answers. Swim, swim, swim. 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 Done. Swim. Uh, I like to stay inside on a summer day so the enemy, the sun, doesn't kill me. Uh-huh. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So I just want to say the points. We have seven points for team three. Six for team two, and three and a half for team one. Three and a half. Next one. I never leave home without my blank. Is this like pre-2020 or? I, I, I downloaded it today. But like. And it was one of the most recent, it was one of the more recent games. Okay, so. I'm just saying, I don't want to, I want to leave anything out. No one's answering. Actually, we had people, but it just dropped down. What do you mean it dropped down? I mean, there was three or four people, and now it's back to one, and I'm the one. Oh, okay. So. You're the one, <laughs> so nobody. They're not answering. Three. They can always catch up. Two. One. Reveal your answers. Phone, phone, wallet. Well, phone, wallet, keys. Phone. The cell phone. phone. Cell you phone. guys said phone? You guys said phone? Did you guys say cell phone, though? No, no, no they're fine. Phone. My cordless. Yeah. yeah. I don't leave home without my the rotary phone. My car phone. phone. Yeah, my car, car phone. phone. My Motorola. Next one. When I am sick, I. When I am sick, I. Isolate. Watch prices right. 11 o'clock on weekdays. I, I isolate <laughs> and I contact my uh, close contacts. I take a test. Three, two, one. Reveal your answers. We got sleep for number three, sleep for number two, 
And number one is, again, illegible. I still, a sheep. This one says sheep. I don't know. The answer is take medicine. Take medicine. Take medicine. Take medicine. My favorite I think type sleep of is actually really good. dinosaur. If you can sleep is, without medication. My favorite type favorite of type. dinosaur is. There are a lot of types. Um, to be clear. What's my favorite type of dinosaur? Not mine. The majority of people. Three, two, one. T Rex. T Rex. T Rex. It says Tyrannosaurus. 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 Oh. Anyone write Tyrannosaurus? No one wrote Tyrannosaurus. No points. No <laughs> points. It's a point. Point each. Which is really like no points because it doesn't change anything. Yeah, Next no one. Blank is a big city in the United States. Blank is a big city in the United States. Texas. Not a city. Yeah, but still, it's. I still wouldn't be shocked if it was like the number it's one. It's true answer. because you're asking people to give an answer, and so yeah. if enough people did it, <laughs> it could be an Everything's answer. Everything's big in Texas. Three, okay, we two, got one, go. New York, New York, New York, New York, New York City. Yes, it is a city. Yeah, who, who did put it. city? Because New York's the state. Uh, it's, it says the. It w no, if you put city, city, you get a point. If you put New York, it's not right. That's a state. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to give it to you. New York. It says New You're York lucky Luke's is a points. big city in the United States, and that's right. No, New York City is a big city. <laughs> New York State is a small state. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't say New York State, they just said New York. Blank is a country in Europe. Blank. Is a country. Is a country. In Europe. Liechtenstein. <laughs> Sending the babies to Liechtenstein. Yeah. Liechtenstein. From baby geniuses. Yeah. Three, two, one. Show your answers. I'm surprised you guys didn't go with Austria, but uh, Italy, France, England. 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 That's. It's. It left the EU, so it's debatable at this point. <laughs> Doesn't have to be it's right. It test. just has to be. <laughs> it's completely disconnected. New Year's resolution usually lasts blank. Uh, the whole year? Because it's a New Year's? <laughs> yeah, that, that would assume that like people X actually do it. number of days? Are we sh should we just give them that hint? Or? I can't or give. Or is it, is it measured in... Oh, you just say it's like, measured it's in days. time. Okay. A measurement 10, of time. That's not the. <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal. Uh, a week, a week, a week. One week, a week, one week. One month. One month. One month. A month. One month. A month. Blank is the name of a Marvel Avenger. Blank is the name. Blank is the name of a Marvel Avenger. At this point, you could just say anything at all, and you'd probably get a Marvel Avenger. Like True, but what is the <laughs> most guessed Name an object. Answer? <laughs> or an adjective. Anyone, anyone you can think of. Yeah. Three, two, one, show your answer. Iron Man, Captain America, Iron Man. Captain America. Captain America! Likely, away. these questions were asked to Americans, and so... Yeah, I, I feel like it is an American. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. I keep blank in my car just in case. I keep blank in my car you just said this was American? In okay, case. we know the answer then. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, Detroit. <laughs> Three, two, one. Show your answers. Hey, Xander wrote this one, so I, I can't read that. Um, cheese its Cheese its A flashlight. Flashlight, gun, and what? It's, I, don't, I, I wouldn't even know what that said still. Gun? Char Charger? Cheesed. A charger. A charger is a kind of car. The answer is money. The answer is money. I don't keep money in Straight my car cash? just in case. Just cash? Just an envelope of cash. 
No, I've used all my, my car money to buy slushies. All right. What is the uh, points at the end of that We question? have a nine for three, uh, eight for two, Ooh. three and a half. Do we want to no, 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 say... No, I, I didn't get points for like when everyone got it. So you didn't lose any points. Do we want to say we're giving a prize at the end of this or at the end of everything? Uh, we'll give it one prize now and... Sure. For sure. Okay, then we'll reset the scores then. This team? So that's the end of this game. Yeah. Here you guys can get a prize. Come and get a prize. Go have a seat. Xander. Xander, if you try and take a prize now, take I'll make sure prize. you don't get a prize to the end of the year. Take one chocolate. Good job, guys. All right. Next game. Our next game is called Spy the Lie. All right, so in this Spy game, you're lie. going to see three facts. Two facts are true, one fact is a lie. On your board, you're going to write down the number of the fact that is a lie. Make sense? Any questions? Good. It's pretty self explanatory. Spy lie. So, so we'd love to do it, Amiss. One, someone paid 10000 for invisible artwork. Two, the small intestine is shorter than the large intestine. Three, CIA tried to develop a group of spy cats. One of those is a lie. Write down the number of the lie. It, is it unlikely that like someone paid money for invisible artwork, but like the number is wrong? Like, or is it just, it's generally the whole thing? Is... No, it's probably like slightly off, yeah, yeah. I would say. It's, it wouldn't be like someone paid $10 million, not Or 10, someone 000. paid 9999 yeah, that's not what that's not what we're talking about. No. no, it's probably something more like that. Yeah. Okay, we got one, two, and three. All right, so you just got to get a number. Write uh, down your, your answer. Group. Three, two, one, show. Uno, dos, dos. The answer is two. Two. The small here. intestine is not shorter than the large intestine. It's very long. Next. Yeah, it stretches quite long, yeah. One, 152 people in the U.S. are named LOL. Two, the first pair of shoes wore was made from rabbit. Three, anadatafia, whatever, you can read it, is the fear of being watched by a duck. I think that's in Monsters University. Maybe it's not. Three, two, one, show your answers. Uno, dos, tres. One of each. The first pair of shoes worn was not made from rabbit. Mm, tough. So I think it's two? their legitimate name is LOL. You guys did two? You guys did two? You guys got your first point. <laughs> All right, next one. One, the Cookie Monster's real name is Billy. Two, peanuts are used to make dynamite. Or three, the tallest man ever was eight feet, 11 inches. Which one is the lie? See, on the third one, it's possible that the number is wrong, right? Well, any of them, it's possible that, like... I know, but it's, it's you know what I mean? There's like, a difference. Maybe the cookies monster, Cookie Monster's real name is, like, Timmy, yeah, not yeah, Billy. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah. The real name could be something different, but it seems like that fact itself is something that's going to be real or not, right? He could not have a name. His name could be Cookie Monster. All right, you guys ready? Is that the only ingredient in it? Three, two, one. Show your answers. One, three, one. This is the one that's not true, right? They're picking the one that's You're not true. You're picking the one that's a lie. Spy yeah. the lie. So the answer is one. Two. Oh, one. The answer is one. Who Cookies. said one? You guys... The, you guys? Yeah, one and three. Wow, I'm, I'm bad at keeping score here. Yeah, one job in the whole world, man. The Cookie Monster's real name is what? The Cookie Monster. I don't know. I can I look it up after. I think it's Cookie Monster. I, I think didn't... he has a real name. It's just not Billy. Blue. One, the blob of toothpaste that sits on your toothbrush is called a nurdle. Two, that's, that's definitely you have the true. same number of bones in your hands as in your feet. Or three, you're twice as likely to be killed by a vending machine than a shark. Which one is the lie? No, I think it's by a vending machine. Like, it, it well, awakens. It awakens. It spares Chases you. It chases you. Yeah. You know when, like, someone reaches up and steals something from a vending machine? You are on its list, and it will find you. I think it just swallows the person, and, and it, they, yeah. How do you think the snacks are made? Yeah, how do you think? Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Yeah. It's dark. Three, two, one. Show your answer. 
Two, two, two. We got number two. Two is the correct answer. Nice. I'm going to give you guys points for this each, this one, okay? Feel Just blessed. So you know. Next one. One, Canada is south of Detroit. Two, Dolly Parton once lost a Dolly Parton look like contest. Three, octopuses have two hearts. Okay. This is an odd one. I know Adele has lost a Adele look alike contest. Like, like a part of Canada is south of Detroit? It says Canada is south of Detroit, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Three. But in Detroit's in two. Forget it. One. Yeah. Reveal your answers. Three, three, two. The answer is three. Octopuses have two hearts is not correct. You guys had three? Yeah, it was three, three, two, right? How many hearts do octopuses have? It doesn't give me that, man. I thought they have like three hearts or four or something. Three hearts. Next question. So point for two and three. Oh, wait, wait. One? One and two, I think. Well, see, I, don't, I shouldn't do this. One, a car engine can run on the five-hour energy drink. Two, polar bears have black skin. And three, a platypus does not have a stomach. Which one is the lie? I think they're all true. <laughs> you fall into our trap. They're all true. They're all true. Three, two, one, reveal your answers. One, three, one, three. Three, one, three. The answer is one. One. The good job, the guys. The answer is one. You guys got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, you got it wrong. One, Miss Piggy and Yoda are voiced by the same person. Two. That's, that's plausible. The muscles in your fingers are stronger than your biceps. And three, Princess Diana's funeral was watched by 2.5 billion people. Whoa, that's a high number. Princess, didn't she die in like the 90s? <laughs> Three. T TV was two. Yeah. <laughs> one. Reveal your answers. I, yeah. One, two, three. I, yeah. It's okay, not yeah. one. I can tell you right now. That's the one, one. I, I knew. I knew it wasn't one. The I answer is two. The muscles in your fingers are stronger you than your biceps. Two? So, one thing I am is a Jim Henson fan, and I knew for a fact that I was like, that's Frank just Oz. True. Frank Oz did true. both. <laughs> I know that's true. If Star Wars is anything, it's, it's the Muppets. Yeah. German chocolate cake was named after Sam German, who was American. Hawaiian pizza was created in Ontario, Canada. Or the first set of peeps had a horn like a unicorn. Peeps. Peeps. Little marshmallow Pe friends. Peeps? Peeps. Peeps? Three, two, one. Reveal the lie. Ger German chocolate. Cake? Luke. <laughs> oh, sorry. Three, three, one. I'm still thinking about three, it. Three, three, one. The answer is three. Three. Good job, guys. And girls. The next question. The red outfit of Santa Claus was invented in Russia in 1831. Humans cannot land on Saturn because it does not have a solid surface. Or 99.9% .9 of commercially grown artichokes are grown in one town in California. Spy the lie. Who's growing 0.1% of artichokes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are the other ones coming from? Come on, little buddy. Let's go. Three, Let's, you can do it. Two, one. What's the lie? One, three, three. The answer is one. The red outfit. Yeah. The red outfit of Santa Claus was not invented in Russia. You guys did one? But that does mean that 99.9% .9 of commercially grown artichokes <laughs> are being grown in one but town in California. But where is the point 0.1%? Why wouldn't it be 100? They've got to be naturally like, like growing artichokes, so they just say 99.9%. .9 All right. More people visit the USA every year than any other country. The term freelancers comes from sword-wielding mercenaries. And the White House in Washington, D.C. has 35 bathrooms. What's the lie? 
So more people saying more people will be tourists in the U.S. than, than any, any other, other country. country. So they would win the culture. Culture yeah. victory. Yeah. Culture victory. Culture victory. Yeah. For tourism alone. Yeah. yeah. That would mean that they would have won the culture victory already. So. So it can't be that. Yeah. Because <laughs> then they would have won. Because <laughs> the world would be over. <laughs> Three, two, one. Show your answers. <laughs> one. Three, two. Oh, we got to spread. The answer is one because they would have won already. One, they would have. I told you, it's logical. My logic is clear. The Mosquitoes are the deadliest animal in the world. The longest name of a city has 55 letters. Half of the Earth's population watched the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Whoa, half? Whoa. Half of the world's prob- Earth's like, population. Like what? Earth. A game? Half of Earth watched the FIFA World Cup. Like a game out of... I guess, so like, yes. Yeah, like half that, like, of the population calcul- tuned in at least once, I guess. Like f- four billion, like 3.5 billion unique, unique users. Unique, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, I don't think... I, I think one. That's, I think that's true, but I think the fact is wrong based on, based on st- stretching statistics. But two, three, three. The answer is two. It See, has I, I 88 question three. letters. I question three. 88 the letters. Name of a city has 55 letters. No, it's 88. Oh, it's 88. Sorry. What did you. What did that. You guys got it? I, for some reason, I can't do this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your only okay, job in have, the whole world. We have nine points for number one right here, uh, five points for number two, um, and three points for number three. You know? The adventure of Pringles, the Pringles can was buried in a Pringles can. There is a McDonald's on every continent. High heels were originally for men. Whoa. I mean, if one of these is, if any one of these is true, like, it changes my world. Two of them are true, Luke. That's how the game works. (laughs) Changing my world. (laughs) Three, two, one. Reveal your answers. Obviously, there's a McDonald's on every continent. Wait, is Antarctica a continent? Like, Reveal your answers. Luke, what are they? Okay, two, two, and two. Yeah, two's the answer because Antarctica doesn't have one. Yeah, that's what I was like. Wait, wait, yes, it's that. No, wait. Ah. Hold up. The Pringles guy was buried in a Pringles can. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're not freaking out about this. Sliced bad. bread was invented just two years before television. Bullfrogs do not sleep. Sunsets on Mars are green. Okay, I hope three is true. Three, two, what? one. What? Sliced bread. Show your answers. Sliced bread? Yeah. What? Reveal your answers. Just to think Luke. If, if that's true, think of the advancement, like how far we've come. People could slice bread before that. They just coming sliced. Oh, pre-sliced. Yeah, like, do you think people couldn't slice bread before? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I just, they're breaking it. Jesus All right, Luke, look at their answers. Look at their he answers. broke the bread. One, one, three. The answer is three. Sometimes three like, is the wrong. correct answer. It's wrong. It's not correct. It's, 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 it's not true. Three is false. Yes. Yeah. See, I knew that. W- They're not green. Sliced bread, as in pre-sliced, before pre-sliced. you bought it, yeah. it was invented two years before the I, television. So is that what the saying is referring to? Like, yeah. Since sliced bread. Digging a hole to China is theoretically possible if you start in Argentina. Your brain is skinny. It's composed of only 10% fat. There's a type of strawberry that is yellow. I think that just, it's just kind of a fat phobic way of talking about your brain, I think. I just don't appreciate that. Skinny? You can be not, I don't know. It's a weird, it's weird. Fine, just, your brain is composed of only 10% fat. Just eliminate the skinny skinny part. You can st- three, two, one. Reveal your answers. Two, two, one. Two is the answer. Two. I guess you'd be wrong then, wouldn't you? The shortest commercial flight in the world lasts 57 seconds. Nebraska's state slogan in 2019 was, honestly, it's not for everyone. Dolphins sleep with both eyes open. Nebraska. That's great. I, 
Honestly, Dolphins sleep with both eyes open. Honestly, like it's not for everyone. Like Gandalf. I I think that's a that's a plausible slogan because it's like, yeah, but for those people who it is for, they're like, yeah, I'm special. I love it here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Three, two, one. Reveal your answers. We have three, one, and two. The answer is three. Three. This game is is a blessing to you guys. Next one. Pianos, when first invented, had 103 keys. Vacuum cleaners were originally horse-drawn, and a city in Alaska had a cat for a mayor for 20 years. Oh, dear. Um, okay, so pianos, like, like, is it trying to say, like, the harpsichord? Like, like an early no, piano? No, piano. The piano is different than the harpsichord, but so it's not saying, like, an early version of... A type of piano, but the Not piano. Saying, like the first piano. The current piano, which is like the I hammers. I didn't write this, man. So the I don't triggers know. and the hammers. Sure. And the keys. Three, two, one. Oh, I would be bad Reveal. at this game. Uh, one, two, and two. One. One. Woo. I think we've secretly found what the, these guys are just like savants for. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, you guys know weird facts. The right? University of Minnesota is older than the state of Minnesota. It would take one day to drive to space. There are twice as many pyramids in Sudan, Africa, as there are in Egypt. So it would take, if you, if you could drive, and if conditions were similar to that of road conditions, in terms yes. of gravity and the distance spread, you could, you could drive. It would take a day. That's a lot of assumptions, unsaid assumptions that I just think it's tough, but. Three. It makes me question. Two, one, reveal your answers. Okay, two, two, and three. You think there's more pyramids in, in Egypt? The answer two. is two. And you guys both said two. Next question, there's a couple left. Clouds can weigh more than a million pounds. Tyromancy is the practice of predicting the future with cheese and a cornflake in the shape of Illinois sold on eBay for $2,653. Yeah, three, three is definitely <laughs> true. Uh, tyromancy, is this like from Harry Potter? Like, whoa, this is a real thing? Yeah, man, real thing. You got like tea leaves? No, like, it's cheese. It's uh, definitely the Grim. It's the Grim. What are the darkest omens of our world? Three, two, one, reveal. I think that's a three. Uh, two and a two. Three, two, two. And their streak Not continues. Three. It's three. Whoa. The Guys, the keys don't continues. listen to me. continues. There's probably more money. <laughs> <laughs> Bumblebees, because of their weight, can only fly five meters above the ground. A mattress doubles in weight after 10 years of usage. A moon bow is a rainbow that happens at night. I, I think all of those are false. I just don't believe it. How gross is number two, though? <laughs> yeah, I had my mattress for quite a long time, so. It doubles in weight. Yeah, it's probably tripled to this point. <laughs> Three, two. I didn't get it new. One. <laughs> so <laughs> Show your answers. One, two, one. Okay. Uh, the answer is one. 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 Hey, guys, you got a point. Good Which job. means. A mattress legitimately doubles in weight after 10 years. Yeah. I mean, depending, what if it's not used? Like, used or not? Like, no, I think it's if you're using the mattress, yeah. your dead skin and sweat seeps into the mattress and doubles its weight. Wow. There is a tennis court on the roof of the U.S. Supreme Court building. In Japan, if a sumo wrestler makes your baby cry, the baby will have good luck for life. A human can swim through a blue whale's veins. I love the, the, it would be the Supreme Court, wouldn't it? That's awesome. It's the, it's the Supreme Court. Isn't the Supreme Court building like pointed? No, that's the, that's the Capitol building. Three, two, one, reveal. Okay, I want to see numbers three, one, one. And that's the end of their run. It's one. They didn't get this one. Oh, they didn't. They, right. the two here did, but. I've been following that team. Nice try, guys. It's a streak. Violin bows are made from human hair. Bubble wrap was originally intended to be wallpaper. Lobsters communicate by urinating at each other. I know this one. Um, 
Yeah, I know this one as well. <laughs> um, three, two, one, reveal. Uno. Yeah, it's one. Horse hair. Horse. Horse hair. Actually, probably not even that anymore, but the yeah, original. Probably synthetic. Last one. Walmart has a lower acceptance rate than Harvard. The youngest pope in history was seven years old. The state of Michigan offers a unicorn hunting license. Like acceptance rate is like how many, like how many versus applied gets accepted? I'm like the lowest amount of people getting accepted based on the, high, the number of people who applied. Yes. Yeah. Three, yeah, a, a pope being seven years old two, is just crazy. One, reveal your answer. One, one, one. They're wrong. The answer is two. He was 11, not seven. Yeah. But yeah, Walmart has a lower acceptance rate than so, Harvard. There's just so many people apply to Walmart, like that, you know, that's why. Not many people apply to Harvard. You're up. Not many, but like not as that's many it. as apply to Walmart. There's only one Harvard, there's tons of Walmarts. Yeah, it would be a percentage, but it's just so many people would be applying to Walmart because anybody can apply to Walmart. Not anybody can apply to Harvard, right? Well, I mean, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm sure it costs money, too. That's it. So uh, whoever's oh, the winner it. is the winner. Okay, we have... Yeah, I wonder. As long as I don't pull a Dumbledore here, uh, we have a three team three with seven points. Team two with 10 points. Is that, is that right this time? Did I get it right? And team number one with 16 points. If I just yell, like, because of bravery and friendship, we give team three 80 points or something like that. Just kidding. You and guys won. even with that, <laughs> you guys still have, over both games, you guys have the most points as well. So not that it, not that it matters, but... Collect your prize from Luke. Yeah. All right, so... Guys, we're going to start a series. It's on the book of Acts. And so I, can I get a, a leader? Can, just give Matt, give Matt the uh, bag and he can get the prize out. Oh, you guys want prizes? It. It's just all about the prizes for you guys. You can pass the prizes out. So we're going to go through a four-week series on the book of Acts. Okay, so what's going to involve watching a Bible Project video each week. And we're also going to talk about some of the, the text. Um, but I want to give you guys this challenge. So I have uh, a little piece of paper here. It's got a memory verse on it, and it's got a reading challenge as well. So what I want you guys to do is memorize this verse this week, do the reading challenge, have your parents sign the reading challenge, and then come back next week, and your leaders will sign that you did the memory verse. And if you do four of these in the next four weeks, you will be receiving a prize. Okay, Everyone will get a prize. But we'll also have a grand prize that will be announced soon um, that you will be entered into a raffle as well. But similar to the Emmaus Retreat, um, but this time everyone will get a prize if they complete this. So I'm going to get these handed out, um, and we will put the post it in the Discord as well for people, and they can should be able to make it work even if they don't get a card. But you do need to get a card. Do not lose the card. We'll give you a card next week. But if you were here, you lost the card. Mm, too bad. So... We're going to actually start with uh, an intro to the Acts by just playing the video, Tyler, and, uh, and then we'll get into it. So, If you're online, I am putting a link because I'm going to have to go dark and quiet, watch this video, and then join us when we're done.
So the first question we want to ask as we get into the book of Acts is why does this all matter to us? Why does this matter? Well, today I was just listening to um, just a, a, a podcast, and I heard someone who's known as, has been known as one of the most influential intellectuals in modern times, you know, on one of the most uh, popular podcasts uh, in, the, in the world currently. He said, he said literally that the Bible is the foundational text from which all other literature is based, and that's where we find like all meaning and, and, and everything. It was pretty amazing for to see someone like that say that that um, in that context. And I think it's just really encouraging to, to hear to say that the Bible does matter. What we do here does matter, it is important. It's not something that, like we could be looking at other books and studying it, but this is the foundational text from which like all other texts are based. And I think that's uh, really important to remember. And uh, Acts really covers, you know, what the church is, who the spirit is, what happened to the disciples, how the church got started in the first place, and the knowledge that Jesus will never leave us or forsake us no matter what we are going through. And that's why Acts is so important. So have you ever wondered, you know, how you are supposed to, you know, live the Christian life on your own? How you are supposed to follow Jesus by yourself? Have you ever wondered that? You know, how can you, you know, put your sin to death, transform your heart, radically change your lifestyle, change who you are and follow the way of Jesus by yourself? You know, renew your own mind, like obey God completely, and then, and then also lead other people to do the same. How are you going to do that by yourself? Have you ever thought about that? You, you may have. And of course, the answer is you can't do it by yourself. And that's what the book of Acts is teaching us, that you need God's people and God's spirit in order to, to follow the way of Jesus. That's, that is why it's necessary. So God is working through the same church and the same spirit to equip you to spread the message of God's love to the end of the earth. That's what the book of Acts is all about. So I'm going to look at just the one passage. We have it actually on your little sheet here. I'm going to look at that today. So this is Acts 2, 38 to 39. This is the speech that Peter gives right after Pentecost. So Pentecost, uh, also known as Shavat, you may may think, oh, Shabbat. No, Shabbat is the Sabbath. But this is Shavat. This is actually, uh, ends up being, 50 days after Passover, so seven weeks. And that's what uh, Shavuot means. It means 50th, and that's what Pentecost means as well, 50th day in Greek. Um, and this was a, past, this was a, um, a celebration uh, that from people from all over the world came, and we have people speaking all these different languages, and the people are like, what's going on? We can understand you guys because the Spirit has come, and they're saying all these things. And then so Peter gets up, takes a speech to all these Jews from all over the known world, speaking all these languages, and he, he tells them what's happened, and he gives the speech. And then at the end of the speech, he, they ask, what can we do to be saved? What, what, do you, what should we do about this? Like, he, they're very compelled by the speech. And he says this, Peter replied, this is on your card here, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. So, um, who, where, where do we find ourselves? Wh- where are we in this passage? Like, wh- where would you say we are? At what, if you're looking at the passage, where does it directly talk about us? Anybody know? Anybody? Anybody? So if you look at it, at the end it says, the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off. That's us. We're far off. How far are we away from, from uh, Jerusalem at this point? Pretty far. Uh, for all whom the Lord our God will call. It's talking about us. So it's just very important uh, to remember that this, this is talking about us today. Right? So l- let's just go over a couple things. Um, uh, I'm just going to skip to this. Okay. The Holy Spirit, who is he? Very, very important question. Um, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. God is not one person. He is, he is uh, tri-personal, but he's still one God. 
We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, separate in personhood, but equal in power and glory. You know, the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Spirit, the Spirit is not the Father, but the Father is God, the Spirit is God, and the Son is God. And God is one being. So this is one of the great mysteries of the Christian faith, and uh, it's just important to know that it's not a contradiction. It sounds like a contradiction, but it's not a contradiction. I'll give you an example of a contradiction. The cow is blue. The cow is not blue. That is an example of a contradiction. Okay? Um, Now, if I was to say the cow has two eyes, the cow has four legs. Is that a contradiction? No, it's not. So saying God is three persons in one being is not a contradiction because the understanding of what person is and what a being is is is, is different understanding, okay? So to say that God is tri-personal um, and he is Trinitarian, we are Unitarian. So we don't really understand what that's like and what that is, but God is actually Trinitarian. He's three persons in, in one being. Now, many people would argue against that and push back and whatever. It is a profound mystery that... Uh, is the Trinity. But the more that you look into it in the Bible and study it and, and meditate on it, it becomes even more profound and, and true, but also still remains something that's mysterious. So I, I'd love to spend a lot of time on that, but I just want to, to know that the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. He is God, just as much as the Father and the Son is. So it's also important to say that the Holy Spirit is not an it. He's a he. He's referred to as a he, not an it. It's not, he's not a power or a force that is harnessed, but a person that is, uh, that has, you know, the same things that Jesus would have as well, except he's not, uh, Jesus is a human so, as well, so the Holy Spirit's not a human. But uh, all of the things that God has. So this is what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit leads us, guides us, comforts us, convicts us, compels us, stirs us, moves us, and empowers us to grow in our sanctification and do hard things for the sake of of God's kingdom. That's what the Spirit does. And it's all about carrying out the mission to reach all the nations with the gospel, right? That's what the book of Acts is all about. It's about how the church spreads from just being in Jerusalem and goes to Samaria and Judea and all over the whole world. That's what it's about. So here's an important question. How do you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? Now, if we look at this, like I said, we are in this. We are all who are far off. For all whom the Lord our God will call. So in order to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, um, what needs to happen? Anybody know from this passage here? It's on your card. Anybody know? It's very straightforward. It's almost like a logical. Sebastian. Repent. That's the first thing. Repent. What's, what's the other thing that it says as well? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So you see, you have, that, that is kind of the first step to, to receive the, the gift of the Holy Spirit, is if you repent, believe in Jesus. You turn to God. That's repentance is turning to God, believing in Jesus, confessing your sins to God, and turning to follow him. Now that kind of brings a conundrum, okay? Because, you know, um, because of this passage. I'll show you the passage. This is a uh, Romans 8, 8 to 10. Well, let's go 9 to 10. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, then you, even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. There's that one phrase there. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. If somebody repents and they, they put their faith in Jesus, they said, I, Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I, I trust in you for my salvation. I believe in your death and resurrection. And I want to follow you. If someone does that and they, they decide, you know, I want to get baptized. And so they, they plan the baptism. It's going to be at the end of the week. And they plan the baptism. And on the way to the baptism, they get into a terrible car accident and they die. What happens? Do they, do they, are they saved? What do you think? What do you guys think? You're going to let that one slide. You know what I mean? Like, I think some of you, you know, that's gonna, he's going to make it in. He squeaks it in, all right? And the thing is, that person, 
who put their faith and trust in Jesus has, that belongs to Christ, right? That's, that's, I think that's true. They belong to Christ. You can say that with confidence. And so they, therefore, it says, um, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. And uh, in the, the, uh, as well, the opposite is true. If you belong to Christ, you have the spirit of Christ. Okay? So you can't say of someone that belongs to Christ that they do not belong to Christ. That would be a contradiction. You want to see, there's actually a logical calculation that you can do with that formula. But uh, I think that's important to remember when it comes to this. So how do, you, how do you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? It is through repentance. And baptism is an outward working of that. And I think it's, it's very important to know. Baptism is, is so important as a follower of Jesus to do, to take that step and, and to like, <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> um, it's an important step to do, okay? So, so then we have this other thing called the filling of the Spirit, or walking in the Spirit. Ephesians 5.18 says, Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. And Galatians 5.16, So I say, walk by the Spirit, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So this gift of the Holy Spirit is something that's given to all believers, those who have repented and believed in Jesus. And also, it's, it's also shown through baptism, something that all believers should do and that Jesus modeled for us. And then they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, it's possible that this gift of the Holy Spirit, like you could receive a gift, um, and not open it, and have it unwrapped, all right? Um, I don't know if that's ever happened to you, if you're just like, you just got a card, and you forgot about it, and you didn't open it, right? And I think that's true for um, some believers, and they don't, haven't really yet experienced the, the Holy Spirit. And that may wait until they get in the tank and they get baptized. Or when they start serving the Lord, when they take steps of faith, um, when they start sharing their faith, that's not until, that's when the Holy Spirit starts working. Um, they may not even experience it at some point. Um, it may be working behind the scenes. They don't know it. So I think it's really important just to understand that if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit. And once you realize that, you recognize it, then you can start talking to the Holy Spirit. You can start recognizing how he's working, and you can start sensing kind of his presence and, and waiting on it. So I think that's just important to know. So here's an important question. What if I don't feel any different or don't feel like God's presence is close? This is a, this is a very important question. We're going to go about, about five more minutes here, and then I want you to get you to small groups. But here's the thing. This is the most important question. I don't want to say the most important question, but this is a question that I've heard from believers of all ages, um, whether they're, they're young, new in their faith, or they're, they're, they're older, young adults, you know, middle-aged people. I've, everyone has asked this question. What if I don't feel any different? I don't feel God's presence. And this is very common, especially for if you had like a great experience as a young person experiencing God, and then you, you, as you grow up, you, you don't have that same sense. They don't feel like the warmness in your heart or like worship just doesn't really do anything for you. You're not really experiencing God on a daily basis. You feel spiritually empty and dry. Now, I'm going to say a few things. There's a few steps that I would take that I would advise someone to. And I, I say this with a lot of love and grace. And it's not like that there's just like a way that you can just do. If you just do X, Y, and Z, you're going to experience spiritual renewal. renewal. That's just not the case, but necessarily. But I'm just going to say, I, I, I want to see this happening. I want you to make these choices. If you're going to say, oh, like, I'm not experiencing this. Well, are you doing this, doing this, doing this? It's not like, it's not like a challenge. It's just like, these are some steps that I would take. And then I'm going to kind of explain on the fourth step, um, you know, why maybe you might not be experiencing the same thing that you might have before. So this is, this is what I'm going to say. The first step I would, I would take and I would say, I would suggest, um, or the question I would ask is like, are you spending regular time in God's word? Are you spending regular time in prayer? And are you spending regular time getting together in worship with other believers? Because that is the bread and butter of being a Christian. And if those things aren't happening why should you be expecting to be experiencing God's presence all the time? I just, don't, I just don't think that's the case. So that's the first thing, okay? So once you start doing that, it's like, okay. Step number two would be to do some self-examination uh, and, and really asking God's Spirit to say, this is kind of from Psalm 139, Lord, examine my heart, see if there's any offensive way in me. What are some sins that I'm not really 
recognizing. There are, time, there are times that we can actually sin without realizing it, and which is kind of scary, actually. Um, and we should sometimes tend to spend some time reflecting and be like, what is something that might be holding me back from my relationship with God? Because it's possible that there's some unrepented sin in your life that's preventing you from having that close connection with God and experiencing his presence in a, in a more of a real way. So that's something to consider, okay? And, uh, you know, n- none of us are perfect, but there are things in our life that, that n- God's not put going away from us, but we're pushing God away because we're doing, we're struggling with this, this sin. If we're not recognizing that and dealing with that, it's going to be more difficult. Okay, step number three. Um, that's not necessarily the case, but I'm just saying that could be something you should, you should do. Step number three would be seeking God's presence through the spiritual disciplines. So this would be um, spending time walking or sitting or, or laying down um, even before God and saying, Holy Spirit, be with me. Remember, the Holy Spirit is a person. You can pray to the Holy Spirit. I know that the Lord's Prayer is praying to, to the Father, but you can also pray to Jesus and to the Holy Spirit uh, as well to the Father. Um, you know, Holy Spirit, be with me. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Holy Spirit, fill me up. Holy Spirit, uh, be with me as I walk. Help me to walk in your spirit, in the spirit. These kind of prayers are very helpful. Um, that's, that's, that's awesome. Being silent, listening uh, to worship music. Um, I mean, and also you can't expect to be experiencing God's presence on a daily basis if you're distracted with X, Y, and Z from your phone, from, you know, whatever's going on in the world. So that's another reason that I would... I would suggest kind of reducing the amount of distractions in your life. That's something I've talked about a lot. So those are three things you can do. Um, and that's going to help you maybe start. I mean, I, one thing I didn't actually mention in here is, is actually taking steps of faith uh, to serve God and to um, share your faith. Because that is, that is like probably the number one way you, you will experience God's presence and like the Holy Spirit's helping you as you pray through that. So that's something I didn't mention here. So I'm just realizing that now. So that would be step number five. But uh, step number four is this. And it would be to wait on the Lord. So if you're experiencing uh, a period of spiritual dryness, it's, it's, your, it's nothing wrong with, like, your regular patterns. You know, you've been a follower of Jesus for a long time. And, you know, you go to church and you, you read your Bible. You spend time praying. But you just feel spiritually dry. You're not experiencing his goodness, his presence. This is a problem that you, you may have experienced before. Some of you are very young. But... Uh, you also may experience it in the, is in the future. And it's important to remember this. Wait on the Lord. So Isaiah 40, um, 30, 31. It's important to remember that knowing Christ is a journey. This is what we talk about all the time. Uh, the journey together towards knowing Christ. It is a journey and there's going to be peaks and valleys. But this is something to remember. Even youths, the youths, grow tired and weary. And young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. You may have heard this before, seen it on a bumper sticker, seen it somewhere on a wall. Like, it's a very common passage. Now, can we expect that we're always soaring on wings like eagles? Can you you soar on wings like eagles and run and walk at the same time? No, that would actually be contradiction, right? You, you can't. I mean, unless, I mean, maybe you're on a treadmill in the sky. and the, So maybe not. Not a contradiction, actually. Not technically. But we can't expect to be soaring on wings like eagles all the time. Sometimes we're going to be running. You know, we're going to be doing, doing ministry. Sometimes we're going to be serving the Lord, and the Lord is keeping us going. But honestly, most of the time, life is day to day. It's day in. It's day out. It's walking and not growing weary. And, and we need to wait, wait on the Lord if we're experiencing uh, a, a sense of spiritual emptiness, spiritual dryness. It's that, it's that daily um, habits and, and, and rhythms that we, we take that are going get to us, get us there. Because uh, sometimes we spend time in the wilderness and the desert or, or through the valley. And sometimes it's in an oasis or the city or the mountaintop, right? That's just how things go. So wait on the Lord and he will renew your strength. So that's just a little lesson on kind of spiritual dryness or, or whatnot. And like I said, like number five, which I didn't have here, which I'm just realizing would be taking steps of faith to serve the Lord and to, um, to share your faith. Because that's actually going to awaken um, the spirit to because you're doing what you're called to do. So we're actually going to get into a series where we're going to talk about 
get back into the four chairs that we talked about, and we're just going to get into some of that. So here's the, here's the thing. Let me, let me close this up. What are your next steps on your journey towards knowing Christ? Journey together towards knowing Christ. What is your next steps? So there's a lot of next steps that we could have. Um, but here's three in this passage. The first is repent. This means turning away from your sinful flesh. It means uh, from the desires that lead us astray, from evil thoughts and fantasies. It is recognizing our sinful state and need for a savior. And you're going one direction, and you make a turn, and you're going in another direction. That's what repenting means. And some, 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 it's not something that we just do once. It's something that we do. Um, repentance and faith is a daily cycle, but it is something that you need to do for the first time if you're going to be um, following Jesus, receiving his spirit. Be baptized. This is in response to your repentance. Um, you guys should really start thinking about being baptized at this, at this time. It's, it, is, it is a time uh, for you. So if this is something that you're serious about, um, you know, talk to your leaders, talk to your parents, and we want to set up a, a time for you to do that. Um, it does involve speaking in front of, of like, in front of people, but if, you, if we work with you, we prepare it, you can just read it. Um, the church does want to hear from you, and you want to proclaim, like, what God has done in your heart to people. And if, if that's not something that you can do, is that something that's really, is that really real for you, all right? So you got to try to allow that to kind of overcome your fear uh, behind kind of public speaking. I know that's holding a lot of you back. I've tried to like get it as easy as possible for you to, to do it. I'm like, can we just like find a way so it's super easy? But at the same time, <laughs> I don't think that's right. We don't want it to be necessarily easy for you to do this. We want this to be something that is actually something that's a big step for you, okay? That actually takes a little bit of courage, okay? So something we talked about before, um, it's dying to yourself in the water with Jesus, death on the cross, and then you're being raised to life with Christ in the new life as a new man, or, or woman, of course. Um, so you're not too young, but make sure it's something you think about and take seriously. Talk to your leaders and parents about it. Third is receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is another next step that you have. You know, whether it's, uh, um, I think it's just important to recognize that you have the Holy Spirit. Like, if you've believed in Jesus, if you put your faith and trust in him, you have the Holy Spirit. And that's really important to, to know. That's really a huge step, and then, um, it's praying through walking with the Spirit and uh, recognizing that w when you worship, like you have, have God's Spirit. That should change how we think about ourselves, that we are the temple of God's Spirit, right? That's just a transform transformative thought, and it changes everything. So with that knowledge, how does that knowledge change your life? And that's what I want you guys to think about in your small groups uh, in this, this last uh, part of the night. So think about how does... God's spirit in me change my life. So let me pray for you. Dear Lord, I pray for these, these youths, and I just pray that you would give them uh, strength and just fill them up with your spirit. Help them to experience your goodness in their life and uh, a tangible sense of your presence, um, whatever that looks like for each of them. And I just pray that they would seek you um, and desire to do great things for your name as we walk through the book of Acts and are inspired, as we memorize these verses, as we read these texts, may you just put them on our hearts and give us a, a fire and passion for you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, where you guys want to go? You guys can go... Uh